guys, I almost crashed my P51. I was all the way down there flying it. I was trying to do a touch and go. And as soon as I took off and got about maybe 30 feet in the air, sorry, the dog's barking over there. I got 30 feet in the air, uh, the battery just started going out and I knew I couldn't go around. So I slowly floated it across the street and down here. Um, it all seems good. As soon as I touched down, once I was on the ground for about five seconds, I did a hard right rudder and stopped it and it was fine. So, whew, I almost crashed it, man. I almost lost it. I knew if I go, if I went around, I would have been completely toast, but I got it. So, yeah, I just want to let you guys know. I was going to have a cameraman film, but I, uh, she was busy. So, since being good one piece, rudder's still intact. Uh, gear's still good. Didn't nose over or anything. That's impressive from all the way down there. And I lost sight of it too. It was like right along the horizon and it dipped down right as I touched down. Thank goodness. So guys, after a more thorough investigation, I came to the conclusion that, well, one, it was my fault. And um, two, never fly past your timer. Um, <laughs> so here's a better explanation of what happened. I was coming in, coming down to a nice little, uh, pre preparing for a touch and go. Oh crap, my P51 is actually about to fall off the refrigerator. <laughs> um, uh, I was coming down and did a touch and go. I was, I had power in about 30% and I landed with about 15. Then I pulled it back up to another 30% when I was on the ground, rolling across the ground like I did in my last video, touch and go video. Um, so I was on the ground and I pulled up. And right as I pulled up, my timer goes beep. You know, I had a five minute timer for almost every airplane. Um, I'll probably change that with the Blue Angels because yeah, I'm not taking no chances with that thing. I don't want to take chances with this thing even, but hey, gosh dang it. And I heard the countdown and I was like, okay, well it should be fine. I haven't been flying that that hard, but well, what do you know? Um, <laughs> anyways, so I came down when I was coming up and time went off. And right as I was pulling up, I was pulling up kind of at a steep angle, probably about this kind of angle right here. It's pretty steep for a uh, touch and go. I was just, and right as I was, anyways, whatever. <laughs> um, I was coming up, and I noticed the power going, and it was almost completely dead. So I pulled down the throttle, or I cut the throttle completely, and I slowly glided it down back over the road. <laughs> and it went, uh, oh, I don't know, that was probably another few hundred several hundred feet and I came down and did a couple bounces off the ground but they were nice bounces nice and easy I was going a little bit too fast <laughs> so and then I finally touched down right as I was about to lose sight of it I touched down and I threw the flaps down cut the power and flared pretty hard and let me grab the controller straight <laughs> so here's the right stick right here I flared when I was landing I flared probably about this much so not all the way but Three fourths of it, and I. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, so I flared that much, and threw the flaps down, all the way. So I was here, and when I was pulling down, I was right about here. I just threw the flaps down. Uh, yeah, I threw the flaps down first, and then I pulled down. So once I did that, I saw it go right out, oh, right out of my. Uh, line of sight right on the horizon like the sun was just barely in the background um, to the right side but there was still a little bit coming out of clouds in the back behind it and um, I completely lost sight of it right as I touched down so that was scary um, <laughs> I thought that was that thing was a goner uh, anyways that was just an update yeah it was pretty sad sorry I didn't have a cameraman I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. I don't know. But the main lesson learned is do not fly past your timer from whatever it is. Uh, mine was at five minutes. For this, P for this P51, I should probably make it four minutes, 30 seconds. Um, that's using a 4S2200 30C LiPo. I think. Yeah. That's a lithium polymer. Yeah, LiPo. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the E-Flight battery. So I love these. I use these in all of my airplanes, except for 6S airplanes, 2S airplanes, and 3S airplanes. So, anyways, that's it. Um, 
Everybody have a good day. Sorry. Um, I don't want to crash it. But it's in one piece. Uh, the gear seems fine still. I haven't checked to see if it works, but I'm sure it does. I will, and I'll update, update you guys in the next video. Remind me. Um, rudder's fine. Although I did flip it over the other day when I came in for a landing. Uh, right after I filmed that video, I went off again. Take off, took off again and made this little dent in it, but nothing big. So, anyways, this is KBRC, and I almost crashed. That was sad. <laughs> uh, anyways, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, by the way, Blue Angels build update. Uh, it should be finished tomorrow. I'll be uploading tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so, anyways, like I said, it's KBRC. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you want to see more crazy incidents, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do it more like that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, see you in the next one.